Recording in progress. Welcome back. Hey, thanks. All right, everybody. Both here in the room and also on Zoom, we're now joined by Gable Stevenson, the national champion at 285 pounds, heavyweight weight class, his second straight. So we will go around the room. We're going to start with Kyle, and we'll try to get to everybody, okay? So please let me know if you have a question. Gable, when did you first realize you'd like to be in the spotlight? Um, probably when I was really young. I've always been stubborn to be, like, um, on camera, taking pictures of myself, wearing clothes and stuff. So growing up, I just had, like, a, an itch to, like, be a showman and show the crowd a, a show at a bigger weight. Rachel on the left. All right, so looking at kind of like your lifestyle, your training habits, you're already pretty big dude. Um, and going to the WWE, you're probably still going to have to keep that mask. What is that going to look like for you in the future now? I'm just training hard. You know, I got a good supporting system um, with Triple H, Paul Heyman, guys like Brock Lesnar, and Vince McMahon's a genius, you know, so I hope that uh, he can push me right and who knows, you, you may see me at WrestleMania. Zeb. One of the most iconic endings to any NCAA tournament ever. The backflip, the shoes come off. I mean, it's Gable, signature Gable, right? It's what the crowd wanted, you gave it to us. The thing I like though is your shoes are back on you, so I, I'm telling myself that, that there's a possibility. But one of the most iconic endings ever, what's it mean to you to, to be able to give the, the crowd a show? I mean, it means a lot, you know, just going out there and just enjoying myself and putting the time and putting the effort in, you know. I took my shoes off and did a backflip, you know, it's just, it's just what I do. I, I loved uh, to do flips. I've been doing flips since I was young, you know, I was doing gymnastics class and on the grass and the trampoline. Um, but, you know, I had to put my shoes back on to go on the podium. But for now, for now I'm done. Like I said, for now I'm done. <laughs> Well, a few months ago, you said you were going to retire the backflip. Why did you bring it back? It's just uh, people love to see it. You know, people just chant it, and I would hate the someone pays a lot of money to sit in their their respective seats and they're chanting backflip, but I don't do it. You know, I gotta I gotta put on that show for them. Backflip. Talk about how coming back for this year has really built your brand. Just um, being on ESPN, being on Big Ten Network, the the push that I've been getting with WWE, um, just just being able to be myself, be on camera make the, the sport of amateur wrestling bigger than it it probably was a year ago and just pushing pushing myself to be a better person and pushing the sport to, to grow and have more eyes on it too. Mark? Gable, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for coming back another year and giving everybody the opportunity to see what you're able to do. And uh, secondly, I'm not a WWE fan. You know, growing up as a wrestler, yeah. you know, and we used to have to watch with my grandma. She was 90 years old. She believed everything that happened there was real. How can you not say that's real? I never understood it, but I will be a fan to watch you. Uh, thank you. I uh, appreciate it. I hope I, I gain many WWE fans as I take this next step. And like I said, just uh, got to keep putting my best foot forward and keep my head on straight. The next three are going to be on this side. We're going to go second row on the right. Yeah, so I have two. The first one, you know, it's pretty rare to take to Twitter and basically tell everyone you're going to win and you're going to leave your shoes there. Where did that confidence come from? Come from? It's, just, it's just built in me, you know. So ever since a kid, I just just loved uh, to talk to talk and walk to walk. You know, like I said in the interview yesterday, if you score points, you're going to win. And today, just t shooting the best shots I possibly could on a bigger body like Colton Schultz, and who's a Greco specialist, and who knows how to roll people up in 30 seconds to a minute. So just having that confidence to do that on a big stage is, is a lot. But, you know, I, I feel like I'm built for this, and I'm built for the big stage. Mike. Like, like Gable, two questions. First, that you, the fact that you were named Gable, mm -hmm. you understood where that came from. How did you live with it as a child that you grew into the name? And also, when we start comparing great heavyweights, where should we place you among the great heavyweights? I think um, you should ask the first question to my mom. She's behind you. <laughs> and then the second question, I think um, there's so many good heavyweights, Bruce Baumgartner, um, Kyle Schneider, Adam Kuhn, Colton Schultz, Mason Paris, look at, look, at, look at the athleticism the guys are putting on that um, has been growing ever since we got to college. And, you know, Lucas Davidson, who I grew up near, and Fortis, Indiana, he was in Chesterton. So um, I feel like I stack up pretty high. And were, I might just be the best. Were you comfortable with the name Gable, though? I mean, I understand the comparison. Yeah. Oh, so that never bothered you? No, I like that. I like that um, that target. I like that living up to the namesake, and I think I did a good job. Kyle. Speaking of that, you get to the WWE. What would you think about Dan Gable as a manager? <laughs> and if he distracts the referee, what would you think about that? We're going to win a lot of matches. <laughs> <laughs> Back right in the green. 
Uh, right after your match, you went up to your coaches before you did anything and just really slowly gave them a hug. Was that an emotional moment for you, knowing that you're moving on and kind of thanking them for everything they've done? You know, just uh, Luke, uh, Luke Becker, Brandon Egham, Trevor Bramble, San Zach Sanders, Dustin Slater. I mean, I can name so many people. Tony Nelson, they've been in my corner since I since seventh grade year when they were letting me come into the practice room for RTC and I was getting whooped up. And funny story, I was watching Chris Farr. Chris Farr is 174 pounder. And in seventh grade, I was about 180, but I was just, you know, chunkier. And Chris Farr threw me into the wall because that's what we like to do. We wrestle hard, we go out there and we just, we want to dominate. So he threw me into the wall and I looked at Egum and I smiled at him. And ever since then, he just like knew that like Gabe was it. And it was, that's the day like things just turned. Skip back to Zeb on the left. I uh, asked RBY, I'll ask you, uh, name, image, likeness, right? NIL. Um, it's huge for someone like you, RBY. There's only a handful of wrestlers who can actually benefit from it. RBY said money talks. And if you can get back, if you can get back, money talks. How do you feel about that statement? And could that potentially bring you back, knowing the NIL deals could, could bring you back to, to Minnesota? I mean, I got one more year left with COVID year. And money talks, we see Gable. That's all the time we have. Thanks, Gable. Congratulations. One more, one more, one more. Oh, one more on the right. Yeah, yeah thanks, man. Uh, just one, you know, the showmanship. Does anybody, was there anybody you looked up to, like, who's in the spotlight that you wanted to be like and emulate? I'd probably say The the Rock. You know, The Rock is the biggest influence. And Brock Lesnar is the biggest influence for, like, the, the career path I'm taking. You know, my end goal is to, to be a, a star in the WWE and be a, be a person that kids can look up to and, and see the energy that I bring in all different spots. And so it's, um, it's weird that I'm getting close to that spot. And it is odd that like people ask me for pictures and autographs. You know, I'm not I'm not used to it, and uh, but now I'm getting used to it a little bit because I have to. But just um, I don't know, just enjoying the the time, enjoying day by day. That's so, how I'm gonna take it. You said the Rock. He became an actor. Is that something you'd be interested? in? Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Gabe. Well, congratulations, uh, man. Thank you.